So I've got five coming your way. Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's talk about vintage fabric. So I decided to do like a deep dive into eBay and see which fabrics are selling for big money. So I've got five coming your way. There may be some that I missed, but this is just based on my research. So let's get started here with the first fabric, vintage fabric, Bolo item to be on the lookout for. If you're new here, my name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies, and I teach you guys about Bolo items. As we get started here, I do want to show you something. So I put in vintage fabric by the yard. You can see here this first one pops up and I'm like, oh my goodness, $1,000. And I'm kind of excited about it. And I'm like, I can't wait to share this. And then I dig a little deeper. So when you guys are searching solds, please, please, please do your research. All right. So I went into the item. And as you see right here, it says relisted the item. So if you click on to that, it is going to take you into the relisted listing where they auctioned it again. And it only went for $170. Now. That is still fantastic, but it's not a thousand dollars. So be very, very careful when you are researching. Flocked vintage fabric can be big money. All right, let me show you what flocked is. Do you see how this is kind of fuzzy and raised? If you want to pause here, you can read the definition from Google. That is flocked. And you can see here they've got the ruler to kind of show how far apart the pattern is and how big the flocked area is. So that's a great idea. Uh, I do not sell fabric, maybe I should. This is for two yards. So when you are looking up comps, you also wanna check the title for how many yards are included. That way you can figure out, is it going for more because the amount or because of the pattern? What is making this item special? So this one sold for 170. The next one is another one. Now this is called, um, it says dotted Swiss. I thought it was called Swiss dot. Maybe it can be called either or, but again, you have that fuzzy flocked material. And you can see how the people selling the items, they really get you a close up of what it looks like. So if you decide to list some of this, these are some items that you can, um, or some different ideas for photos that you can do. But honestly, I think this picture looks the best when you zoom in. So these do not look super, super clear to me. But this one sold for $294.99. It had 39 bids. Now this is four yards on that one and free shipping. All right, here is another one. This one is also flocked. And we're going to get into the next one here after this listing. I'm going to talk to you about one more thing for the flocked and then we'll move on to the next uh, bolo item. Again, flocked, raised material. See? That's very, very popular and typically can go for big money. This one sold for $132.50. Another thing is the pattern. The pattern, sometimes some are more desirable than others. All right. Now, I am going into uh, solds. So here's what I want to show you. We are under flocked, uh, let's see, flocked fabric by the yard is what I put in. And you can see this is the one that was $1,000. We've got 294, 250. Some of these are buy it now. I don't always show the buy it nows because a lot of times they don't get paid for. And the only way to verify it is to go in and look at the feedback and see if the person that bought it left feedback. That's one way to know for sure. I like looking at auctions because I can tell this item had 14 bids. And even if the buyer did not pay, it still shows me that there was multiple people bidding on this item, which shows me there is an interest for this item. All right. So I'm just kind of showing you here flocked 
fabric is definitely something to be on the lookout for. And I've seen some go for crazy money. There's really not a lot that went for big amounts at this time, but this is three yards. This is really cool. All right, let's go on to the next one. The next one is Mary Inglebright. And if you have not heard of Mary Inglebright, she has other things as well. I think I've sold some Halloween dishes of hers. And whenever I see Mary Inglebright, I typically pick it up. She does have a following. So this fabric right here sold for $123.05. It's from 1994. Lots of, um, it looks like they knew the actual print. So if you can figure out what the print is, definitely put that in the title. And this is five yards. It sold for $123.05 plus shipping. And now I've got it narrowed down by Mary Inglebright. Just to give you an idea, this is auction and buy it now. So again, Look at this, 235.50. So it's got the cute little pattern. The patterns, I believe, really make some of the items go for a lot more. But Mary Inglebright is a great brand to look up, whether it's fabric or something else. Definitely be on the lookout. So I'm just going to show you a few of those. So Mary Inglebright is the second one. The third one is this Faye Burgos. I've never heard of this one, but she popped up a few times during my search. This is two yards and it's gardening. So it could be the pattern that is bringing up the price on this. Let me show you some more by this same person, or I, I don't know what that means if um, she's the designer of the pattern or what. But this one is two yards. This in, this one is one plus yards. So this was on a buy it now. This was on an auction and it's the same pattern. So that, um, that pattern looks like it's a good one. Here's another one. It looks like she's got a lot of prints with like people and animals and stuff like that. Now we're getting into $60 for two yards. So I don't know. I don't sell fabric. Is that good? To me, that sounds pretty darn good if you can pick it up cheap. So Here's just a floral print. And one thing I recommend is also searching low to high because the you may find this Faye Burgos and think, ooh, I found Faye Burgos. But if you search the pattern, it may only go for $20 like this one. So definitely do your research. Look how cute this is. I'm surprised that did not go for more. That is adorable. All right. The next item is Daisy Kingdom. I would say that this is the one that I hear the most buzz about. Daisy Kingdom is a big money bolo. Um, lots of the vintage fabric patterns are highly collectible and sought after. This one sold for $174.50 and it's a floral pattern. Now these, this is the, it says sweet, let's see, sweetheart border, three yards. So this is plain here pretty much, but it's got uh, the border. And usually on the sides of the fabric, it's going to say Daisy Kingdom. And this one is dated and it tells you the actual, um, the pattern. So that's fantastic. This one sold for $204.39. The next one here is a very popular pattern from my research. It is Paper Dolls Border. Look how cute. And this one sold for $310. Again, you have the information right here. Patty's Paper Dolls Border by Daisy Kingdom, 1998. So it is vintage with a very cool pattern. Here's another Daisy Kingdom um, of that same thing. Paper Dolls, Paper Dolls, 320, 325. So if you guys can find the Paper Dolls, definitely grab it. We have uh, Cherished Teddies here, 249.95. Um, pink bunny border 250. And as far as things uh, selling quickly or being long tail, I don't know much about fabric. If anybody wants to weigh in on that down in the comments, that would be awesome. But again, you can see lots of um, big money bolos here. It seems like the ones that have um, the animals and the different cute patterns seem to do better. But with this Daisy Kingdom, I'm also seeing some floral prints that do well. All right, let's see what else we have here. The next one is Holly Hobby. Holly Hobby seems to be a big money bolo for fabric from my research. And you can see here, 
the different little patterns on each block. And then they also show a measurement. This one went for $223.49 plus shipping. Here's another one that went for $314 plus shipping. And this one is American Greetings. This is 1.5 yards. And again, right here along the side of the fabric, I love how they give you the information to help you list the item. $148.49 plus shipping. All right, let's take a look at solds. And I am searching high to low Holly Hobby fabric. This one went for $431 with 20 bids. So this one is gardening and a cat. It seems like those gardening patterns seem to do well. Here's another one, 382. I showed you guys that one, showed you that one. 199.99, 159. And again, if I search low to high, I'm sure there's going to be lots of patterns that go for much less. So definitely do your homework before you spend big money on any fabric. But if you can get it for a good price, then definitely just grab it and go. That's what I always say. If it's cheap, grab it and go. All right. Now, here we are. And those were the top five. But there are also some that can go for good or big money just based on the pattern. This one is Budweiser. So just a random fabric. I don't even know if it's branded or what, but it says Anheuser-Busch Budweiser, two plus yards. This one went for 75. This is My Little Pony from 2004. It's a border uh, style. And again, it's got all the information. This is by Hasbro, which is the toy company. This sold for $105.50 plus shipping. This one here, it's just yellow, tiny strawberry print. So there just were multiple people that were interested in having a strawberry print pattern, it looks like. It sold for $143.38. Um, I don't see a brand down in the comments. It's just um, seven yards of fabric. So $143.38. So those are the top five fabric bolo that I found. Again, the ones towards the end, um, just patterns, certain patterns that people may be looking for that you can sell for big money. So definitely do your homework, always research, but there are five that you can kind of be on the lookout for when you're outsourcing. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. This is one of my bolo category videos. If you go to my playlist, I have a whole bunch of these. I've been doing these for over two years. And um, I have a bathroom bolos video. I think that was the last one I did, which I love those because those are things that you find in the bathroom that are just a little bit unexpected. Great to find them at estate sales and stuff like that. Thank you all so much for being here. There's going to be some videos popping up and a subscribe button down here. Be sure to do that. Hit that bell if you want to get alerts when I post new videos. And thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.